there folks welcome back to cubaholics it's ak and i just logged back on for the day just gonna chill a little bit and figure out what my next project is going to be now that the in farm is done so uh, i'm just gonna go down here and wander out and you know what i need to do i need to finish the sales on my oh man what is this oh Yes, I've already logged on, and yes, I saw it. So I'm just starting a little video because i got to show it off. I got pranked. So, anyways, I got pranked. And the funny thing is, I know who it was because they told me on Skype. They were like, um, I'm at your house. I'm like, what are you doing? They're like, tearing down your mountain. I was like, don't be doing that. So I logged on, and they were like, ah, run, run, run. And they're only like halfway done. Anyways, it's uh, OLJM148 and LR. Of course, of course. So they basically encased my ship in ice, which is just lovely. So of course, I need to uh, I needed to finish the sails anyways. But now I got a little bit more of a project to do. This is one thing about having a nice farm; it makes it too easy for people to prank you. But anywho, it's all good. It's all good. I love this kind of a thing. So it's <laughs> I thought they were gonna I thought they were gonna completely. They're talking about uh, naming armor. Anyways, um, so, yeah, so, you know, the thing of it is, is I, I realized that I think I filmed this a while back. I'm so behind on processing videos. So by the time you see this, I will have gone through and processed a number of videos that I've been filming. Um, and I just, I don't even know what's, I don't know what I've recorded and what I haven't. But um, I think I did record this. So I came down one day and saw this some food for your long voyage and saw that Adson had completely filled my hold with melons. I'm pretty sure I filmed this because I was like, oh my God, you got to be kidding me. So um, he said the other day, he was like, have you seen your boat yet? And I was like, oh dude, that was like weeks ago. Um, I just haven't put up any, I just haven't put up any footage. So I think what I will start doing though is cleaning these out because if I don't clean them out well enough, um, yeah, see, I need to clean them out to where the, there it is, where the torches are. Otherwise, it's going to be dark in here, and uh, I might get stuff spawning. God, look at all this melon, dude. This is crazy town. Anyways, I might get some mobs in here, but I think with that, I'll probably be good. So anyways, I'm going to come do this later, and then I got to clean up the ice and brain holder. That's a nice helmet name. Um, so anyways, I got to clean up the melons and then I got to clean up the ice and then I got to finish the sails. Hey, troublemaker. <laughs> so anyways, there's OLJM148 who was messing with my boat. Everybody's messing with my boat, but that's okay. It's kind of fun. Um, this is nothing really, honestly, in comparison to the the last prank that I just did on her. So it wasn't me. Yeah. So anyhow, I'm going to get some of this stuff cleaned up, and then i got to start working on another project. Well, actually, i got to finish this project, and then i got to start working on another project. So I'll come back with you in a little bit and uh, give you a progress update, as always. Hey there, folks. How's it going? Oh, I shouldn't do that with, a, with an axe in my head. Hey there, folks. How's it going? It's AK. Uh, welcome back to the Cubaholic server, and it's time to go do some stuff today. Um, I did want to show you real quick. I have added item frames to all of my chests in my happy little storage room, uh, which will make things much easier to find. I'm usually pretty good at remembering where everything is, but sometimes I do forget. So, uh, let's see. I have a couple of projects that, I don't know, I just thought you might want to tag on along with me on today. So let's see. Need to make some uh, nether brick because I need to make some more nether fence. It's 42. That'll probably do it. I'm thinking that'll probably do it. Yeah, 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 that'll probably do it. Okay. So here's the thing. Um, oh, so let me just show you. This is kind of a cool thing. I put all this, you know, enchanted stuff and item frames looks really cool. You probably saw that flash up. If you have a named item and it goes in an item frame, you get the big caption, 
which is pretty sweet. So in case you're wondering what that was all about. Um, I think I might have showed you on the last video that I have dogs. What up, dogs? I got a bunch of dogs. Doggies. I love dogs. Dogs are cool. I mean, the, the barking gets really old, so I kind of wouldn't mind finding a new home for them. Uh, one of my early dogs actually ran down here and fell off this, so that's why I added the glass, um, which was kind of, you know, too bad. But luckily, I had a, I had just bred the two of them, so I had a third one, and I've, I've since increased the dogs, which is good. So I'm finishing up on the pirate ship. As you can see, it is pretty close to done. Um, I've got the sails in, and you know they're not gorgeous sails or anything. Um, I mean, I do dig the red color, but you know the shapes, they are what they are, man. It's tough. It's tough to do, especially when you can't just fly around in creative. So, you know, there's some of them are a little janky, a little odd, but you know what? A, they're good enough, and B, I kind of like them. So uh, I added my steering wheel back here. Doo -doo -doo -doo. And I've added some of the rigging off to the side panels, and basically I just need to um, add a little more rigging. So there actually is a, a fair amount of rigging to do. I think the stuff, I know these pieces over here are really important, but I think the pieces under, oh, you know what? I did these sails a little differently. So let's get this stuff over here started, and then we'll, um, yeah, we'll kind of build this up. We'll talk a little bit about what I have in mind for my next level of stuff to do. I'm actually going to, um, I'm probably going to run out of, oi. Well, you look at that. I'm probably going to run out of this stuff pretty soon. Anywho, um, let's get rid of that one. Save that. Yeah, I'm going to have to go a little sparse maybe on this, so... Uh, let's see. We'll just take that up too. And I don't even know where this is going now that I think about it. Uh, let's see. Well, anyways, so the pirate ship is a cool project, I will say. Everybody who's seen it so far on the server has really liked it. Um, they think it's a cool idea, and I think it's a cool idea, and I'm really glad that I've done it. Um, will I do another one? Good question. I don't know. I think if I was going to do another one, I would probably want to do it as my uh, as my base kind of area. Dude, I don't even know where this thing's going. Now that I think about it, which is kind of nutty. Let's just uh, go over there for now. Yeah, let's go over there for now. And then I need to get up there and I need to add some rigging. I, the way I built the sails straight down from those masts is a little different than the way I built these ones. But again, I think I'm probably the only person who's going to notice. Let's see if I can make this work. Boom, son. Whoa, no. I didn't make that work. Darn it. Darn, darn, darn it. Let's see if I can get up there again. Ugh. No. Why am I falling all the way down, dude? Oh, dude, I'm about to die. And dying is never fun, especially when you're not expecting it, you know? If you're kind of like, okay, I'm going to go for this bold move, and if it kills me, okay, it kills me. But when you're just trying to ender pearl around and you die, that's just, that's highly uncool, man. That's all I'm saying. It's uncool. So instead of ender pearling all over the place, let's, uh, let's just pillar up. I got a few more fences I need to add up here. I should probably, well, actually the ladders I think kind of look cool back there because... You know, how are the little sailor people going to run up and get up into the upper riggings if they don't have... Ooh, dirt. you got to go. You know, if they don't have uh, uh, ladders, you know, how are they going to get up there? So it kind of makes sense. Let's see if I can do this without dying. That's kind of cool. Let's see how that looks. Can't really see too much, but I think it's probably good. It's, you know, anything is probably good because I'm the only person who's probably going to be seeing this thing, especially from up here, you know? So I think if I like it, then it's good. 
and I like it, so it's good. And I'm thinking that's probably, hmm, that might be an interesting place for some rigging, you know, like down there. Whoops, took my fingers off my keyboard, and when I went back, there was, everything was in the wrong spot. Oh, more dirt. It does take a lot of dirt to make the scaffolding for this thing, I'll tell you. It's a, you know, it's a, it's a crazy project, and of course the, the, why am I not able to move? What's up? Oh man, I'm falling all the time. I gotta get out of here before I die. So, um, yeah, the tutorial that I followed, of course, the guy did it in creative mode. I mean, why would you not? You know, that just that's kind of ridiculous to not do it in creative mode. Um, but the trick is, then you go to build in survival, and your techniques have to change quite a bit you know he's just popping blocks and throwing things left and right and flying all around and checking stuff and it's like that's great and all I mean I don't know maybe a project like this isn't really supposed to be all that often considered in survival mode but I think if you're not going to build it in survival you know then what's what's up I mean I know some people their mode of gameplay is to um you know creative that's just their thing they want to build in creative they just want to create cool stuff and they're really not into playing the i want to say playing the game but i'm not trying to be elitist or anything but they're not interested in playing the survival game they're more interested in using this as like a virtual legos kind of a thing but you know albeit much cooler than legos um so that's cool you know i mean it's however you want to play the game i understand um i do totally understand am i out of oh i'm out of fence because I need to get these riggings over here done too. But I kind of just use it all up. You know what? I think it's good. I think I'm actually going to call this project a done deal. Oh, look at that. I had a bunch more. Let's not. Let's go finish this. And then it's not, I'm not kind of thinking the whole time that I really should have finished it. Mm hmm, mm hmm. Sound like a plan? Sounds like a plan to me. Is that going there? Yeah, that's going there. But that's actually kind of cool over there. I kind of like that. Okay, so then this one, is that going to connect in? That will now. That looks kind of interesting. I don't know. Do I really feel like running this all the way over to that one or something? No, like not at all. So maybe that's good, you know? it's Again, it's my own thing. I'm doing it my own way, and I think that's good. So let's move on. Let's just move on. I'll just drop this in here because, yeah, I'll come back to that stuff eventually. Let's close that up. And um, let's get out of here the quick and easy way. I did, by the way, I don't, can't remember if I showed you guys. The gold blocks here are part of the tutorial, and I like that. And then we got our first underwater fortress. And I'm so enamored by the prismarine blocks that I was just like, you know what? I'm gonna, I'm, <laughs> I don't seriously think I'm gonna make this throw, but I'm gonna try it. Is it gonna land up top? Oh yes, kinda sorta, close enough. Yeah, close enough to where I can get over here. So uh, yeah, I just I dig the prismarine. So I took the gold blocks down and I put prismarine up instead. And I think it looked pretty good. Um, it's definitely new, but now as you can see, I've got a bunch of prismarine everywhere because not only did we find the underwater fortress, we have found two underwater fortresses, which is highly cool, highly cool. So um, I haven't really, oh my, <laughs> sorry folks. Um, but the other day, OLJM148 put a birch tree here and I thought that an acacia would look a lot better. Actually, I really liked my acacia. I wish it wasn't taken down, but anyways, um, I took the uh, I took it down. I put an acacia up, which I thought was really cool looking because the leaves of the acacia they're probably still over here. Oh no, they're taken down. They were going through the portal. It looked really cool, um, but evidently um, I don't know what the O means because we don't have any. Oh, I guess for OLJM148. So yeah, she came in and replaced mine with a dark oak, and that's all nice. And maybe some point I'll do like a Franken tree. You know, I'll put, I'll take out a bunch of these logs and put in, just scatter in like birch, acacia, oak, spruce, you know, and just make it like a complete Franken tree. But, and that would be really freaky looking and everyone would probably hate it. And anyways, but nobody says anything about stuff like that. It's a very polite place, which is nice. You know, I mean, I'm not complaining. It's a great server to be on. 
the people are chill, you know, it's cool. It's very cool. But anyways, so I'm kind of running it this way, uh, this tunnel that we're headed out. I'm running it this way because this, I think, is really long compared to what it needs to be. And so I asked AdSense about this. Um, when I found the second, let me back up a little bit. When I found the second nether fortress, um, let's see, ba boom, this is not even going to be close to enough, but I want to backfill this thing because it's nice when your portals are backfilled. And I was going to backfill this whole tunnel, but there's no, I'm not going to get even a smidgen of the way with the nether rack that I have in my hands. And that's really fine because I don't need to. So let's, we'll just backfill it this much because I don't want any more confusion and people run down that tunnel and, hey, I thought there was a portal here and all that stuff. But anyways, but this is really far compared to the other way. And the other way actually shares a tunnel with the first underwater fortress because they are kind of close. God, I'm a perfectionist at times. I'm not going to replace that cobble, though. I am not OCD. Not that I have anything against people who are OCD, but I am not. So, And I know some people use that phrase, like, they get a little obsessive about something, or they get a little, uh, whatchamacallit, a little perfectionistic at times or whatever, and they go, oh, dude, I'm so OCD. And I think that's wrong. Because people who are OCD, man, they can't help it. They can't control it. They're, you know, they're dealing with the, probably it's like a brain chem, oh, it's probably a brain chemistry issue. Anyways... And it's just not cool to make fun of it and, you know, be like, oh, I'm like OCD, you know, it's like, yeah, that's not cool. So anyways, um, OLJM built her portal and check that. Well, she's obviously not done with it because she's got chests in the middle and everything. But look at this, dude, that she said it took forever. I saw some of it because I ran and got some, uh, so I helped her with some of the lava stuff, but um, I mean, not placing, just gathering. Um, but yeah, man, this is a lot of lava. It's a lot of lava, but it's cool looking though. And that's a that was her staircase down to where she went and found the big. There's huge lava lakes down there in our nether. Our nether's pretty crazy. But anyways, I'm liking this. I think this looks cool. So let's now head out. See, this seems a lot quicker. Underwater fortresses. And then you come down this way. And granted, this is all so far. But I think you will soon see that it is not as far as going the other direction. I don't think. And the good thing... Ooh, there's some fire going somewhere. Uh, and the good thing about this way is... Here's one, the first nether fortress. And then if you go this way... The other tunnel is just like right here. Uh, there it is. You can see the light from it. Yay, here's the other one. Okay, so I don't have any, uh, shh, I don't have any obsidian on me. I'll have to come back for that one later. But let's just start with this. Start with this in the land of Prismarine. Oops. <laughs> Actually, that one's not going to be seen, so let's save that. I just, I like dressing up portals a little bit, you know. I think it looks cool when you, when you do good things. And that looks ridiculous. That needs to be a obsidian. So we'll fix that one up later. But in the meantime, let's, uh, let, yeah, let's do that up. Hopefully none of these will pop into lava. Boom. Straight up there? Yeah, straight up there, because this is a, a side approach. This is a side approacher. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. This is cool. This is cool. And then maybe we'll do... I don't know. Maybe that's good enough for now. Let's see. I put the obsidian in there. How will that look? Since we're coming down to it, it's a little different than the other one that has the stairs leading up. I think just maybe framing it like this in prismarine could be cool if those have obsidian i think that'll look pretty good i will leave it as such okay so the next thing i uh, thank you yay we're done with that errand 
Next errand is I need sand. I need sand, sand, sand. So I could go, yeah, easiest way to get sand is not underwater. That's for darn sure. Easiest way to get it is in the desert. So, let's see, that looks cool. But the other one's, yeah, the other one's just built a little different because we're coming at it from the side. So I think I'll, whoa, I think I will leave that as is. And we'll go get some desert. So um, I'm going to just run over to the desert and I'll, um, I'll cut back with you in just a second way up at the edge of the world border um, which you know every time I say that it's like it seems like it's so far and I know the world border is going to expand and then we'll you know this will not seem so far out but right now this is really far out it took me a long long bunch of swimming to get my way up here but uh, what you see behind me that little peninsula is the easternmost because that behind me now is the south that is the easternmost uh, tip of land and it's just ocean for a long ways otherwise a long way that way is just a lot so anyways when I came up here you can see if I look down below me see there's my nether portal that was the the um, when I found this place the world border was basically one block that way of where I have my nether portal and so I pillared up here and I looked and I could see that little inlet of of water back there and I was like, oh, dude, that's cool. This whole thing is cool. I don't know if it's just going to be an island or if it's going to expand out into a full-on continent. I have no idea. But I'm like, this thing, this place is very, very cool. So let's go ahead and get down. Hope I don't break my ice cream scoop doing this. Actually, wait a minute. My shovel right now. Is this ice cream scoop? Oh, no. It's scoop this, son. Okay. So, do, 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 do. let me show you this place. The thing, I just put that little chunk of sand that you can see there. I just put that there, but I wasn't filming. And I got all, everything done, and I realized I wasn't filming. I was like, oh, man, I wasn't filming none of that. So, anyways, um, oh, here comes the rain again. Oh, you know what? The rain is over. That's the thing. I was down there, and it was raining. And then I got back up here, and it wasn't raining. This is like the edge of the rain. Isn't that a trip? Check it out. No rain. No rain. Isn't that trippy? No rain, rain. Wow. So anyways, um, basically I went down here and I'm thinking right in the center there is where I want to put my uh, my little platform because I'm going to build a little like temple doohickethem thingy and put a, um, put a way down into a mine so that I can mine down there. Because anytime you do a build, you should probably have a mine because you need resources, you know? You totally need resources. So let's go over here, and I'll show you how close the world border is because you can't see it. Oh, can't see it right now. But now you can see it. It's basically just right here. So I don't know if this is going to extend out into an island, or which would be very cool if this was just an island, or if it's going to continue to expand out and become a new continent. Which could also be very cool, especially if we get jungle or mesa. Because we don't have any jungle, we don't have any mesa on this whole map. We also don't have things like ice plains or like massive snowy biomes. I would be personally less excited about those, however, than I would be about mesa or jungle. I just, I love clay. Um, you can do really cool things with it. So I'm thinking, you know, mesa would be sweet. But jungle is also cool. Um, jungle wood can be cool in certain situations. Some people really like the old cocoa beans or cats or whatever. So having a jungle, I think, would also be a lot of fun. But anyways, so, oh yeah, there's pumpkins down there. Those are just wild. I didn't, I did not place those. But anyways, this is the, what I've got so far. And I'm, like I said, I'm going to put a little thingy right there, go down to the mine. But, uh, yeah, as long as, as long as the world border keeps expanding, which, you know, we expand it slowly as we go, um, it'll be fun to explore because I am an explorer. It's what I like to do. More than a big builder, definitely more than a redstoner. I can't even string together two repeaters if I'm not following a tutorial. It's a miracle the end farm came out as well as it did. But anyways, here's my new place for now, folks. Hope you enjoy it. I think we're probably getting about to the end of an episode, I'm thinking. So I'll just go ahead and end it here at the world's edge. And thank you so much for joining me. I mean, I just got to say, it's like the fact that you watch this, the fact that I get cool feedback on this, the fact that people say, hey, man, cool videos, keep it up. It just, it, it's great, you know? It's really, really great. And I just, I appreciate it. 
like more than you can imagine. Positive comments, new subscribers, it just, it all blows my mind, totally. So I have no idea where this is going. I do wanna to continue to grow my channel. I am totally open to comments and ideas if you have them, um, things you'd like to see or things you wanna know, you know, things you wanna talk about or whatever. I'm cool with all that stuff. So, you know, I just, I love to hear it. Um, if you'd like to share it, I'd like to hear it. Um, as long as it's not stuff like, you know, whatever. Anyways, as long as it's good stuff, you know, don't be sharing like, you're a noob, dude, or thing. you know, it's like, thanks a lot. Thanks for contributing to the world. But if you have positive comments, man, I'm more than happy to hear them and respond to them. So love it. Appreciate it. Y'all have a good day and I'll see you in the next episode.